surprise. You are not ready, right? The bags are bursting, like seriously. There's so much stuff. So today I have got a giant haul. I feel like it's been absolutely ages since I filmed a haul. So I wanted to sit down and show you what I got over the past sort of like two weeks because originally I wanted to do like a pre-mark haul. So I went shopping on April 13th, which is the day after the shops opened. So I just thought it was gonna be crazy the first day they opened. Plus I was out getting drunk. I went shopping on the 13th of April to pre-mark in Stafford and it was appalling. Like I've never been so disappointed with the pre-mark ever. Normally I go in there and I'm like a kid in a candy shop, but it was awful. I think I only picked up like little accessory bits i didn't even get any clothes i did not see one item of clothing that i liked in that pre-mark so i thought i'll wait until i can go to a different pre-mark i'll pick up a few bits from there and then i'll do put them all into one so then i went to coventry the queue for pre-mark when i tell you it was the longest queue i've ever seen it was like you think like ed sheeran was performing in there like the amount of people that were queuing up it was literally like a concert queue it was a joke but then i went to manchester and the pre-mark there did not disappoint me so it's going to be a pre-mark a h&m because h&m have seriously stepped up their game as well uh pre-mark h&m um new look and some charity shop finds as well so yeah enjoy <laughs> Like I've just sorted out the piles and there's so much more for H&M than anything else. So I'll start off with what I got from the charity shops. Me and Kai have been doing loads of charity shop hunting uh, for his business. While I was looking for him, I just thought like I might as well just see if there's anything for me. So the first thing I got was this checked shirt. Of course, I've tried everything on and everything's left messy. What do we expect? I got this checked shirt. It's like a lilac colour with like pink and black um like checks i don't know if you can see that it's so pretty and i'm so into like this lilac color literally everything i own at the minute is just lilac it's from george actually which is asda i believe i think it was a pound i'm pretty sure it was one pound because originally it was two pound but in the charity shop there was 50 percent off everything like i didn't know charity shops did bloody massive sales like that by the way if you wonder what this is it's a clip i didn't have any normal bobby pins so i had to use that this was from one in canuck yeah, it was from Canuck. So then next, I got this. It's like a dusty rose, but like a satin. And it's very creased, so just ignore that. It is a size 18, but I thought I could wear it as like a dress. I just thought like with a belt, it would look so cute. So I did try it on with a belt and it actually works. I absolutely love it. And it's it's from Pretty Little Thing as well. And I just thought I couldn't say no to that. Like the price of things on Pretty Little Thing. Oh, size 20, sorry, not size 18, size 20. So this is meant to be £3.50 and I actually put it back and I was like, no, I don't need it. And then she had 50% off and I was like, that's £1.75. I cannot, I can't just leave this there. Like, I felt like it was my calling to take it with me. So yeah, £1.75 for this, what a bargain. That was from the same charity shop as the other one, uh, again, in Canuck. I think that's everything that I got for myself from the charity shop. So when I went, New Look had a 20% 20, 20 sale on. So they had a sale and then they also had 20% off everything in store as well. Or was it 25? No, it was 25%, sorry. I picked up like a few like basic tops. They're not very interesting, but apart from this one. So it's like this square neck bodysuit. And I just thought that was really pretty. I, I like the fact that it's a tan colour rather than white. And I just thought this with like some black leather trousers would just look really nice. So I picked this up in a size six originally it was nine pound but in the sale it was put down to four pounds so i got it for three pound like what an absolute bargain next thing i got was one of these long sleeved high neck tops i got this in a size six and again it was down from nine pound to four pounds so i got it for three pound and the fact that like these are my go-to tops i couldn't say no sorry the lighting keeps going really weird so i got it in like this really nice it's like a maroony color i also got it in white and black as well these were all in a size six and they were all down to three next i got this oh little sneak peek this is a little bit different for me i don't really wear the color yellow but i've seen everybody wearing like yellow and like bright pink and all these like bright colors and i just feel like if i don't get into it now then by the time i get into it it's going to be like october and i'm going to miss the trend so i thought i'd jump on it while i can um and i'd pick up these really nice joggers from new like i love new look joggers to be fair i do wish i'd sized up because they they're not like baggy and like really oversized like i would have liked i got them in a size six i really wish i got them in like a size eight or a size 10 or something these were six 
$16.99, I think, which isn't bad for a pair of joggers. Like, and I just thought that this would look really nice with like my little white cardigan with my white Air Force. Just like a cute little outfit. I'm pretty sure that is all that I got. We'll do H&M next, actually. Yeah, we'll do H&M. I'm not gonna lie. The amount of clothes that I got from H&M, it is embarrassing. It is embarrassing because I didn't need a single new item of clothing uh, because just before I went shopping, I did actually get another massive shine parcel as well with like 18 items in it or something like that. Now my bank account is crying. Like it's severely dehydrated. It needs some like moisture, some hydration back in there. So I cannot wait until I get paid. To begin with, I got these really nice black jeans. So just plain black, I like straight leg jeans. I absolutely love them. They fit exactly how I'd want them to. I got a size six. Yeah, I got a size six. I never know like with H&M jeans because some of them have some give and then some of them don't. These actually do. Um, so I'm glad that I didn't get a size up. You know, like when people say, oh yeah, I wear jeans and a nice top. Well, you need nice jeans too. Like they need to be nice jeans and a nice top and these are nice jeans. Oh, how much were these? These were 19.99, which I think for a pair of black jeans, like of this quality and standard is more than acceptable. The next thing I got, so you know, I was just talking about how much I love lilac. This is where you'll start to get a feel of how much I love this lilac color. So I got this blazer, it is very creased, just ignore that. Me and my friend Chelsea went looking around H&M and I was like, I really don't need to buy anything. Like I'm, I'm not gonna buy anything. And then I saw this, this was two pound. That's two cheeseburgers from McDonald's, right? This was two pound and it's such a really nice fit. I'm gonna go out there and say it's double breasted. Don't hold me to it, like I said before, I have no idea what that means. It's a size 14, like a UK 14, um, but I really like my blazers oversized, as you all know. I don't think I own a blazer that is below a size 14. I really like the fact that it's cropped. It's cropped at like a really nice, like flattering point as well. Oh, I just love it. So, next thing i got was this top that i'm wearing okay so awkward crop that's the only thing i'm going to say about the length of this top girls know what i'm talking about there is a level of crop that's acceptable and a level of crop that is not acceptable to be fair if you tuck them up like they are more like i'm doing right now just tuck them up there and like it's absolutely fun yeah like if you tuck it up a little bit, then it's absolutely fine. It's the kind of material as well where like wherever you put it, it's gonna stay. And I just love the color. So I got a pastel blue and then I got the same one in this really nice like pastel purple color. These were four pound each. How nice is that color? Isn't that just such a really pretty color? And again, I just thought like, I need to get a bit of color into my wardrobe. I'm fed up with wearing like brown now like i'm over it i need some color and i just thought these were absolutely perfect so i got them both in size small i do wish i got an extra small or even like a double extra small the crop might have been like at a better point it is a little bit see-through it's so like you can see the i don't know what this is called but you know like these things you can see them through the top which is a little bit annoying but like i'm wearing a white bra and i think it's absolutely fine i actually nearly stole these funny story i had so many hangers and stuff i just put them down and then these two were like you know when you hang them there so they were, they were hung like this and i paid and then the woman was like oh are you paying for them separately and i was like what and she was like the, the two tops on your arm are you paying for them separately and i was like oh my god if she had not have said i genuinely would have walked out the shop with them still on my arm so yeah nearly stole these i was on the verge of being a criminal next is another absolute steal that i got because i think the h&m have put their prices up so i was even more on the hunt for like some steals and stuff they are loose mom jeans ultra high waist ankle length and they've got like this really nice um what's that called stitching this really nice like plaque i'm gonna go with plaque um, and they're just a really nice colour. And like I was saying earlier, you, know, you need nice jeans to go with your nice tops. And these are nice jeans. And then they've got like brown stitching. I don't know if you can see that. The brown stitching there. I just think they look really nice. These were £10. But we got 20% off. So I got them for £8. What the hell? £8. Next. So it's like this cord shirt. It's like a mint colour. Uh, like a mint to sage green. Uh, again, really creased. Are we surprised? It's like a cord jacket it's really pretty like the color of it i just absolutely love it they did have like matching jeans so they had jeans um were they jeans no they had cord trousers and like the same material and i thought that would look so good as a cord i picked them up and because they were flares 
like I like my flares to go to the floor, but they were cropped flares. So they were really nice. Um, and I think they were only £10 as well or £12 or something, but they just weren't my style. So I did take them back. Even the buttons, right? I actually love the buttons. <coughs> I got too excited. Even the buttons are like covered in cord. How pretty is that like little detail there? So this was £15. I think that's a bargain. Uh, what size? I got it in an extra small. I do sort of wish I got it in small so it was a little bit bigger. The next thing I got was this top, I believe. Yep, I'll cut the tag out. So I'm pretty sure, but don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure it was £13, £12.99. And again, it's like the sage green top. High neck, long sleeved, my go-to, you already know. It's like a really tight fitting jumper. That's the only way I can explain it. Um, because it's quite thick, so it is like it does keep you really warm. I got the same like crop jumper thing. Oh my god, the creases! I'm so sorry. It's like a bright, like forest green. It's so nice. It's exactly the same as the other one, but this one was six pounds because I saw it and I picked it up and I was like, oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna get this for thirteen pounds. I was happy to pay the thirteen pounds. Went over to the sale rack. They had exactly the same one. But for six pounds because it was on sale but only this jumper was none of the other ones were just this one so i picked it up i did then have to get this uh this was in the sale as well i think i'm pretty sure this was i want to say this was six pound as well uh but i'm not 100 percent sure a bit more of like a turtleneck on it though so and um, this one rolls over whereas the other ones just sort of like just come up i did not need another one considering i did pick one up from new look as well but they were both on sale and honestly the amount of times i lose these tops like i'll wear them once and then just never see them again got that one in the bright green one in an extra small and i got the sage green one in a small because they didn't have an extra small while i was there okay so next i picked up some of these trousers these are flared trousers like high waist flared trousers so i got them in black because like black goes with everything doesn't it so i feel like black is just such a staple to have Ooh. i got a size extra small and i got them in this lilac color as well they are so flattering on your figure literally i put them on two seconds later i had two compliments saying how skinny my legs looked one of them was off my mom and the other one was off my sister but i'm still counting that At this color i envisioned these trousers with that purple cropped blazer that is actually what i wore in manchester it might be one of my favorite outfits i've ever put on it was amazing i literally loved it they're really stretchy so comfortable um and not see-through either which is good and these were only 10 pound next i picked up actually let me do it up because it doesn't do it justice if you look at it undone the first h&m that i went to i really was in stafford and i really thought they put their prices up but then the amount of like things that i managed to pick up that were either in sale or just really cheap. Um, I do feel a little bit bad about making that statement. Next thing I picked up was like this cropped shirt. It's like a dusty blue color and it's just so pretty. It crops at the perfect length and it looks smart as well. So I just thought this was like a pair of jeans or even like the black flares would look nice. But I feel like it's so 90s. Like I feel like I've seen Rachel Green wear something like this. I got it in a size small and it was only 10 pound, but I got it for eight pound because of the 20% off. And it looks so good on. Like I said, it crops at the perfect length. You could even wear it as like an overshirt. So like if I was to wear this and then put this over it, um, you could wear it as like a little, you know, cropped jacket shirt kind of thing. I did pick up this, it's like a baby pink satin shirt. Again, creased, of course. This was 12 99 and I got it in a size small. They look so like bougie. I don't like to use that word, but they do look bougie. They make you look really nice. Um, I think these really look really nice as well, like with a pair of black jeans, a little bralette with this as like an overshirt or like tied over. It looks really cute and looks really like, they're just really good to have in your wardrobe. I finally got my hands on a white blazer. I cannot tell you how long I wanted to find a white blazer for. Actually, no, I can't because it was when I went to Bristol with my best friend Grace and she was wearing a white blazer and I wanted one since then and I finally found one. It was £25. I got it in a size medium because we already know I love my blazers oversized. It fits amazing, exactly how I want it to. It's got like very subtle shoulder pads so it doesn't look like, you know, boxy. I cannot wait to wear this. Like a little skirt, a little top. Just, I don't think there's much else to say about it. Let's just have a moment of silence to appreciate it obsessed last but definitely definitely not least i got this cord jacket and like this it's like an oatmeal color i 
am obsessed with it. I actually love it. It's like really thick. Re like it's quite a heavy jacket as well. It proper keeps you warm. Cord is like so in right now, isn't it? It's got like the utility pockets there as well, which I really like. I got it in a size extra small because it is very oversized i do wish i got it in a small because it is a little bit tight on the arms like if you've got like a jumper or something under it it is a little bit tight on the arms like if i was to wear it with a t-shirt like this like it'd be absolutely fine this was 35 pound which for me is a little pricey but when i bought this was the first time i went into h&m and i couldn't find anything that i liked thought so i can't come here and leave empty-handed like i did with primark so i just impulse bought it and i never looked back I absolutely love it. I know I say that all the time, so I will try and extend my vocab out at some point. That is it for H&M. I can already tell this video is gonna be super long, sorry. So to begin with, I picked up a pair of skinny high waist black jeans because I need them for work. And that was the only reason. I got them in a size eight because look how small that is. Like. That's tiny, literally teeny tiny. And the UK six looked like it would fit a small child. Yeah, definitely size up in these. These were 10 pound, only 10 pound. Primark jeans are honestly like absolute godsends because they're so cheap. Ooh, why did I wink then? I do wish they had belt loops. I, you guys know, I don't like wearing jeans without belt loops. Why am I used so itchy? I don't like wearing jeans without belt loops because I just feel like, was it hard to put them in? Was it? actually difficult to just give us some belt loops. I didn't actually get that much clothing from Primark. I really thought I did. I feel like I'm missing something. Next, I got these faux leather jeans. So these are like a really nice nude color. Um, I got them in a size six and these were 13 pounds. So I'll insert like a little picture here of me wearing them on my Instagram, um, but in like an orangey brown color. They don't mold to your body shape. They sort of just stay as they are. So if you wear like high underwear, like high waisted underwear, then on the day you wear these, don't because everyone will see them. And they have belt loops. Finally, we're onto the last piece of clothing of the haul. I got these really nice blue joggers, actually. They were five pound. And I really wish I got them in other colors because I didn't know how they were gonna fit. And to be fair, the fit isn't amazing because they're not that high waist. But for a fiver, you literally can't complain. I got them in a size small. I was gonna get them in an extra small because like, that's not a small. I wanted them to be baggy. I didn't want them to be tight and fitted. They've got a drawstring as well, which is like a real drawstring. So you can just tighten them, which is what I do. And they look great. So yeah, for five pounds, how could I say no? So now we're on to like accessories and like other little bits that I picked up. So first of all, super boring. I got a hundred oval cosmetic pads, you know, like just the cotton ones. They were only 90p. In Tesco, these are such a rip off. Next thing I got was five pairs of white socks for pound eighty. I don't know how like long these are gonna be hmm. yeah no that's all right actually because i like wearing like if i'm wearing a dress and trainers i'll pull the socks up so like do you know what i mean like long white socks but not too long next i got some satin scrunchies and i'm very mad at myself because clearly there is supposed to be three on there clearly this was meant to be a pack of three it also says three pack at the top and i did not realize until my sister came in my room and she's like oh where's the third one and i was like it only came with two and she's like it's a three pack so we're only two pound and i like the two colors that it came with anyway it's like this really nice salmony color and then a yellow next i got these things which if these had been out and i did not know about it why did no one tell me mini hair bobbles so if i'm doing like little bunches like i have today instead of like standing there for five minutes like wrapping the bobble round and round you just use the mini ones it comes in a pack of 60 for one pound next i got some jewelry um no i did not need any more these cute little earrings don't worry i didn't get robbed again i've got the other ones in these are just like um little gold hoops a pack of six for two pounds i'm not a big fan of these ones with the gems here and i'm not a big fan of these ones with the big gems either next thing i picked up was this gold chain it's so pretty look at that it was two pound and i actually love it like it's one of those ones that just sort of like falls into shape. Do you know what I mean? The last piece of jewelry that I got was this really, really pretty horoscope charm necklace. So it's like got diamantes on it. I don't know if you can even, can you see that? So it's a Sagittarius one because obviously I'm a Sagittarius. It was £1.50 and it's got like um, diamantes all over it. And I just thought that was really pretty. And that was £1.50. The last few bits that I picked up were sort of just like random bits, I suppose. So I got two pillowcases, just the plain white ones for £1.70. Next thing I got was like this bandana 
um, headband thing. It was £1.50 and it's like this really nice baby blue colour with like this pattern on it. And I just thought that was so cute and just like, just perfect for summer. Like the second day, second day hair. And sometimes like you need the roots covering or something. Perfect. Next thing I picked up was like this bubblegum pink hat. It was £2.50 and it's just like a normal cap. Next thing I got was like this black fluffy blanket. I have already opened it and used it because when me and Chelsea went to Manchester, I cannot tell you how cold it was. It was freezing. So we actually just went to Primark, bought a blanket and then just chilled outside in the bar with some blankets. It's so electrically charged though. I don't know what I've done to it. Like if I've made it mad or something, but I don't know if you can... Can you hear that? Last thing I got, okay? So the first time I went to Primark, I saw this bag and Kai was like, oh no, don't get that. And I was like, all right, whatever. Second time I went, I'd already watched Jordan Lipscomb's Primark haul and she's got this bag. And I was like, I knew I should have got it. Like I knew that that was a nice bag and it wasn't just me. So if it's good enough to, for Jordan, it's good enough for me. So I got this bag. It's like a scrunch bag. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. I haven't got any bags this size, actually. I've got like a big one, uh, which I take to work and stuff. And then I've got like all the mini handbags. Handbags? But I haven't got any this size. It's like a really soft faux leather. Like the size of it inside is really good as well. Like it's just like the perfect bag. I love it. And it was only £10 as well. That's the best part about it. It was £10. So I'm pretty sure that is the end of the haul. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope that the Primark by you, if you want to go shopping, I pray that the Primark by you had the same stuff as the one in Manchester did, because if it was the same stuff as Stafford, then I seriously feel for you. I'll see you soon with another video.